Hey, I'm here to tell you how to go about getting your Mac ready to install the XPDAS V 4.0 update. Um, you know, a lot of people are excited about this update, but bummed if they're Mac user like me. But there is a way, and I'm going to show you um, how to go about doing that. Now, um, you're going to have to install some software. I'm not going to go through all of that process, uh, but I'm going to show you where to get it. Um, and instructions on how to do it. It's called Parallels. There's other things like that but uh, for the Mac, but it essentially allows you to run a Windows environment on your Mac. It's pretty cool. So um, the first thing you'll want to do is get Parallels and a copy of Windows. Now, generally, these can be kind of expensive. You know, Parallels is 99 bucks. Windows, you know, could be expensive, but you can get trial downloads. And I've included these links in the description, but you can get Parallels on the Mac for free for 14 days as a trial so that's great long enough for you to install and update your uh, dais same thing with windows you can get um, experience the windows and download it uh, for use so if you're like me and you'll like it and you'll want to use it um, then you'll continue to keep it and buy it uh, but you know for this purposes you can get it for free um, I'm not getting any kind of compensation for this I'm just sending you the links um, so you'll want to install parallels and go through those steps. I'm not going to go through that, but there's tons of videos on YouTube on how to do that. So please uh, search for install parallels on Mac. So uh, that'll get you started because you do have to do a, go through a couple of steps. Now, first thing you need to do once you're done is get your software from Deus. So here's the uh, version 4.0 page. And here's your download link. So I downloaded that to my Mac and I saved it in a folder called PC Files. So this is where it gets cool once you have everything set up. So this is, you see, a Windows environment on my on my Mac. So basically what I did was I went into PC Files and I grabbed my XP folder and I quite simply just drag it into the Windows and it becomes a desktop item. So I've already done that. Um, so now it's here, so I can open it, I can re retrieve the setup file, and now I can install it and go through those steps. Um, pretty simple, you just keep hitting next, create desktop item, install. So now you can see I've actually installed the update software on my uh, PC environment on my Mac. Um, so I am now on my way. I can go ahead and plug in my remote and go through all the steps. Um, here's my desktop item. So all the steps are outlined on the Deus page. Um, I recommend reading through them uh, thoroughly. Um, two important things to do is one, make sure you use the cable that came with your Deus or somewhat, something like that can kind of have to go both ways because I've learned the hard way. Um, sometimes even though the cable fits, it's only meant for powering and nothing else, not transferring files. So make sure you use the right cable. The other thing is, um, make sure you write down your settings. If, if, um, you want to reuse the settings that you have, these are my settings. Um, I really like them because they go deep. It's a fast program. I junk, I usually hunt a lot of, uh, junky home sites. Um, but I'm also on farm fields and I find that I really don't have to, um, uh, adjust it much you know other than the sensitivity if I keep an eye on that um, TX power at 2 discrimination at 1 I run full tones at 11.7 frequency I keep the iron volume at 2 I know people say with full tones you just knock it down to 0 I don't think it makes a difference but uh, better you know I'm always like eh, I want to hear the vol iron so I just keep it there but again I don't think it makes any difference reactivity 2 silencer 0 audio response 3 audio overload 1 and notch 97 to 99 just to make sure I get rid of those big iron falses. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's a great program for me. Um, I really do like it. So uh, good luck. You know, I hope you have a good time um, installing it and using version.40 and you don't have to hunt somebody who's got a dinosaur of a PC that you can use to update it. Um, again, installing parallels can be a little bit, you know, a little time consuming like any software to update, but, you know, plenty of instructional videos on the Mac. So um, it's really simple. So like I said, you can run a Windows environment and you can get started for free with the trials of both Parallels and Windows. Um, so good luck, happy hunting, and I hope this helps.